Hey, I'm Charlie XCX and this is Spin. Okay. Gwen Stefani, no doubt. Riot Girly, no doubt, just wanna have fun. I really got into No Doubt um, when I was older and I re-listened to like Tragic Kingdom, but I was, when I was younger, I was definitely like really obsessed with Love Angel Music Baby, like Gwen's like I think first solo album. I feel like I'm not that intimidating. Um, and I feel like I'd probably be the same, I'd feel intimidated to work with her, you know, because she's such a icon, so. But then hopefully if we if it did work together in the studio, we'd both just like get over that and it'd be great. I feel like it'd be great. Weezer. Rivers is really rocking like a intense beard moment in this, in this cover. Um, yes, I did work with Rivers. He produced a song on my album, Sucker. He was just so kind and like really open-minded and I just thought it was cool that he was up for collaborating with me on my pop thing. Marilyn Manson. I always gravitate towards artists like that in my work, people who are kind of irreplicable. And I just feel like we're in such an age where like music is like made to, to appease and appeal to everyone. You know, people make music for like people's parents to like and buy for them. And I just like that Marilyn Manson isn't that. You know, he's controversial and he did his thing. And there should be more people like that now. Iggy Pop is like kind of a performance hero of mine, I think. Uh, just the way that he moves, the way that he dances, the way that he was just doing so much crazy shit on stage. He is a legend and he looks like he's casting a spell on the spin cover. The Cure, Robert Smith. Um, one of my crushes. Yeah, a fan made me a voodoo doll of Robert Smith. And we traveled around on tour with this like Robert Smith voodoo doll everywhere. If I ever met Robert Smith, uh, I'd probably react in the same way if I met Britney Spears. I'd play it cool, but I'd be like freaking out. <laughs>